much for joining us. Today we are going to consider some practical ideas how to adapt your course book materials for a mixed ability class. Any teacher faces a problem of mixed ability class. As it said, if there are two students in your class, then your class is mixed ability. I decided to start my video presentation with Abraham Lincoln's quotation. He famously said, you can fool all of the people some of the time, and some of the people all of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. Do you agree with Mr. President? I do. But you can ask me now, where is it relevant to the topic? Hmm, well, I decided to paraphrase it, and what I got. We teachers can teach all of the students some of the time, and some of the students all of the time. But in mixed ability class, we can't teach all of the students all of the time. So now it is relevant. There are many problems dealing with mixed ability class. Today we are going to consider one of them. So today we are talking about how to adapt, how to make flexible your activities from your course books. So, all typical activities like matching, gap filling, multiple choice, categorization, and many others can be divided into groups close ended activities and open ended activities. Open ended activities are intended to elicit a wide, a wide range of different responses and so that many students or all of the students can be involved and give their responses. Close-ended activities require only one correct answer, so less students could be involved. So how to, how to make these activities, close-ended activities, into open-ended? Let's try to do it together. For example, you are going to practice can-con structures with your students. The close-ended course book exercise looks like this. Jenny is a baby. Jenny can can't ride a bicycle. The instructions are read and circle the correct option. And of course, there is only one correct answer. Let's try to make this activity open-ended. Jenny is a baby. Jenny can't ride a bicycle, but she can smile. And instructions. What else can can't Jenny do? There could be lots of answers now, and all the students can use their own level. She can eat, but she can't open a bank account, for example. What is positive here? This exercise is not boring for those who think it's too easy and not too difficult for weaker students. Let's consider more examples. So here you are one more closed-ended exercise. It's about practicing past simple. Before we start adapting it, we can do it very quickly as a whole class activity, just to get your students familiar with it, and then we start making it open-ended. We delete the sentence ending and ask students to finish the sentences. For example, she left what or when or how. And what we get here? We get sentences of different levels. We can do it this way. Delete the preset verb and ask students to use any verb they happen to know using past form. For example, she arrived early, she got up early, and so on and so forth. One more exercise. It's a matching activity. Tell your students to put a piece of paper over one of the columns and let them suggest their own answers. For example, a lump of what? A lump of sugar, cake, earth, etc. Or the other way around. For example, what can go with wine? 
bottle of wine, drop of wine, taste of wine, etc. So now it's an open-ended exercise because you are allowing students to give their own answers which are more difficult or easier. One more idea how to adapt your coursebook activity for a mixed ability class is to make one part of the activity compulsory and the other one optional. Thus, students are given an optional task, which can be done by some of them, and a core task doable for everyone. The key words in the instructions are do at least or do A and then B if you have time. Let's take as an example this categorization activity. What instructions do we usually have for this type of activity in our course books? Complete the table, put the right words into the right columns. To make it more student-friendly, we should tweak instructions. For example, tell your students to find at least three words to put in each column and more if they can. Even the weakest students can find three words to put in correct column. Fast finishers can be asked to find more words which aren't there, but they remember them and put them also in the correct, in the correct columns. The positive thing here is that those who managed to find three words succeeded. Those who managed to do more than three succeeded even more. So everybody is happy, everybody is occupied and busy. That is why open-ended activities are more suitable for mixed ability students. So you can use all these ideas uh, for your mixed ability class. There is no need to adapt all exercises, but if you do something, if you make some of them, open-ended, that will be great for your mixed ability students. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the ideas presented in the video, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to write about the topics you are interested in in the comments. Have a nice day. See you soon.